How do diet and lifestyle affect our sexual health? What are the sexual expectations at different stages of life? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Diet and lifestyle influence sexual health. A balanced diet, maintaining a healthy weight, and regular exercise promote sexual function by improving circulation and bodily response. Avoiding excessive alcohol and tobacco consumption, managing stress, and ensuring adequate sleep are also key to maintaining good sexual health. Sexual expectations vary throughout life. In youth, they may focus on exploration and novelty, while in maturity, they may center more on emotional connection and lasting intimacy. Expectations evolve with personal experiences. Influence on popular culture. The Kama Sutra has influenced numerous forms of art and entertainment, including literature, film, music, and visual art demonstrating its lasting impact on contemporary society. Inspiration in film and television. The Kama Sutra has been depicted in numerous movies, television series, and plays, both as an object of academic study and as a source of entertainment and creative exploration. In contemporary Japanese society, manga and anime often address topics related to sexuality and interpersonal relationships, providing young people with an alternative source of information on these subjects. Kama Sutra in Cinema Movies and documentaries explore the theme of the Kama Sutra, offering visual representations of its teachings and its impact on different cultures and eras. Key Communication Open and honest communication is crucial in open relationships. Couples must establish clear boundaries, discuss their needs and concerns, and maintain constant communication for the relationship to function. Legislation and censorship. Pornography is subject to laws and regulations in many countries, ranging from total censorship to regulation of production and distribution to ensure compliance with legal and ethical standards. Masturbation and menstrual cycle. Some women experience an increase in sexual desire and frequency of masturbation during certain phases of their menstrual cycle, such as ovulation. Masturbation as sleep aid. Some women find that masturbating before bedtime can help them fall asleep more easily due to the relaxing and endorphin-releasing effects. Masturbation. Masturbation is a common and healthy sexual practice that can help explore one's own body, relieve stress, and improve sexual self-esteem. It is a normal part of human development and is not associated with negative health effects. In Latin American countries like Mexico and Argentina, fairs and community events on sexual and reproductive health are held, offering counseling services, HIV testing, and distribution of contraceptives free of charge. In the Muslim world, sex education can vary depending on the country and religious interpretations. In some places, sex education focuses on abstinence before marriage and reproduction within marriage, while in other places it may be more open but still subject to cultural and religious restrictions. Need for clear boundaries. Establishing clear and mutually agreed-upon boundaries is essential in open relationships to avoid misunderstandings, conflicts, or emotional wounds. Open communication about desires, needs, and expectations is fundamental. In some European countries like the Netherlands and Germany, sexual education programs are implemented, including visits to sexual and reproductive health clinics for young people to obtain information and services in an accessible and confidential manner. OnlyFans Phenomenon Platforms like OnlyFans have allowed creators of erotic content to monetize their work directly, challenging traditional models of the pornography industry. Orgasm Control Toys Some sex toys are designed to help individuals control their arousal and delay orgasm, such as penis rings with adjustable vibration or resistance training devices. Personalization and Adaptation 
What works as foreplay can vary significantly from one woman to another, so it's important to adapt to the individual preferences and desires of each couple to create a truly enjoyable and satisfying sexual experience. Polyamory versus open relationships. Although often used interchangeably, polyamory involves having multiple romantic and often deep relationships, whereas open relationships may focus more on sexual exploration with other people without necessarily seeking additional romantic relationships. Pornography addiction. There has been debate about whether pornography can be addictive, with some studies suggesting that excessive consumption can lead to psychological dependence similar to other addictions. Pornography in popular culture. Pornography has influenced popular culture in various ways, from music to film and fashion, permeating different aspects of contemporary society. Power and submission fantasies. Many people have sexual fantasies involving power and submission roles, where they enjoy assuming control or being controlled in the bedroom. These fantasies can range from soft scenarios to more intense BDSM practices. Prevention and timely treatment are crucial for controlling the spread of sexually transmitted diseases. Awareness campaigns, access to sexual and reproductive health services, and sexual education are key components of efforts to address this public health issue. Psychological origins. Fetishes can have different psychological origins, from early childhood experiences to subconscious associations developed over time. Some studies suggest that fetishes may arise as coping mechanisms to deal with anxiety or stress. Rediscovery in the digital age. With the advent of the internet, the Kama Sutra has experienced a resurgence online, with numerous websites, blogs, and resources dedicated to exploring and sharing its teachings in a modern context. Relationship. Between sex and sleep. Sex can have benefits for sleep onset, as the release of endorphins and relaxation experienced during orgasm can help induce a state of drowsiness. Relaxation. Techniques. Practicing relaxation techniques, such as deep breathing, meditation, or yoga, can help reduce anxiety and improve sexual response in individuals with stress-related anorgasmia. Rhythm and technique. In foreplay, rhythm and technique are important for providing pleasure and arousal. Changing the intensity and speed of caresses and kisses can maintain interest and prolong pleasure. Role playing. Some couples enjoy role playing during foreplay, where they can explore different fantasies and erotic scenarios, such as doctor patient play, teacher student, or clandestine encounters. Screening tests. STD screening tests can be performed at health clinics, medical offices, and sexual health centers, and some STDs can also be diagnosed through home testing kits. Sensory exploration. Foreplay involves a complete sensory exploration of a woman's body, stimulating not only obvious erogenous zones, but also less explored areas, such as the nape, toes, or lower back, which can be equally sensitive to touch and pleasure. Sex therapy. Sex therapists often incorporate concepts and techniques from the Kama Sutra into their sessions to help couples improve their communication, intimacy, and sexual satisfaction. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.